Right, so this is some type of floodlight, Richard? Yeah, this is more for your heavy duty um, area of illumination which you need. So, I mean, the concept is it's all inside a case and the case itself has a lifetime guarantee. So it's very easy in terms of storing the units. So, but the, they're made from a high ABS construction, so they're very robust. So in terms of weight, there's handles on the sides and on the front. It's very easy to carry and walk by your side. So it's 23 kilos, so it's a one-man lift in terms of health and safety. Being able to carry something out, it's got to be under 25 kilos, otherwise it's a two-man. But there's handles on each side and on the front as well. There's a battery indicator that which we have here, and the battery indicator is flashing green, which means that the unit's fully charged. Yep. That's important if you're about to go out somewhere and you and a colleague has forgotten to charge it, something along those lines. Having that ability to see that it's fully charged is important before you take it out at night. So you have that there. Here's your inputs and your charging sockets. The case itself can't accidentally come undone. You have to literally push the caps to release them. So there's no danger of it accidentally coming undone while in transit. I'll show you inside here. Here's where everything is. So it's all the shapes are all cut out. The battery's underneath, you won't see that. You have your mains charger there as well, and you can have a 12 volt charger, and you can recharge it at 110 volt if you need to as well. Here's your telescopic poles, housed very neatly and securely inside there. There's no danger of those ones coming loose or falling out. So I'm really in there, so I'm not going to come out, come loose. So within minutes you can set this unit up and what we sort of really want to try and show and demonstrate is that this is a replacement for a 500 watt halogen generator. Lightheads running from a generator because every, everyone these days is conscious in terms of carbon emissions and by using battery technology you're reducing your carbon just by changing over something like this, you can reduce up to 3,000 tonnes of CO2 from a standard 2 or 3 kVA generator, which powers one or two 500 halogen light heads. Not to mention uh, noise pollution as well. No noise pollution, no light pollution in terms of going out into an area. So if you're on a built-up area or a built-up track, 500 halogens give off a very high, harsh light, with a lot of glare and shadows from it. Everything we've done is designed so that it's very easy and safe to use. So the heads themselves are very robust. As you can see from the design here, you've got nice, easy to use plugs which lock in place when they're in use so they can't accidentally come out. Once they're in, they won't pull out. All of this is telescopic. So I'll take it just under two meters in terms of the height. So you've got a nice bit of height there. And the benefit there is all inside. This is where the technology is. So with this new design head, you have an aluminium heat sink on the back there to dissipate any heat. LEDs give off a minimum of heat, but anybody that's out there that's used fiber dual halogens will be able to tell you that they get very, very hot. Can't use them in confined spaces. So can we turn this unit on? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So the switch is actually on the back of the back of the head here. So you've got your full power switch here. Right. And again, very hard to demonstrate, but what you have there is a glare-free white light. There's 18 high-powered Cree LEDs there, and they'll easily replace a 500 watt halogen with 3,000 lumens of workable lux on an area. And the uh, benefit is the way we've done it is we've harnessed the power of each Cree LED having a, a, an individual diffuser over the edge, over each, each diode, and it eliminates glare. So, I mean, LEDs, same as halogen, if you don't harness it properly, it can give a lot of glare of light. So this one's safe in terms of being a glare-free light, and these optics are designed to give maximum distance of light, but still giving you a flood on an area as well. So the design there is to give you a replacement for a 500 watt halogen. That's what we hope to do anyway. So we've got a lot of people that are changing over to this technology. Why would you carry two 500 watt halogens, very easy to break, very hot, and having to run from a generator when you can power everything from two heads here. So if I just set the other one up, you'll see how easy it is. It's taken minutes to do this. Very simple, very stable, so they're not going to fall over. But the benefit is, if they ever did fall over for any reason, they're not going to break. They won't get damaged. LED is a very robust, 
light by comparison in terms of the technology. And having a two-headed unit here like this will give you four hours continuous operation, four and a half hours continuous operation, and you can shine the lights any direction you want to. And you can put it on a low level, which is 1500 lumens, and that will then run for 10 hours continuously. So again, nice, very easy to use, robust construction, so it's really the, the next generation of um, portable LED lighting. So what's a typical application for this then? It could be anything, really. So I mean, if you're working, I suppose, in the rail industry and you want to light up enough track to, um, to give a good area of flood, that's where it's sort of used. Or if you're in the construction industry, you want to flood you know, a fairly large area with, with uh, workable lux. This is what to go for, it's pretty deep. There's no heat at all from any of these, so you'll be able to work up as close to them as possible in confined spaces, in, in sort of rooms, or out, outside. So if you're outside, the area of light will give you at least 50, 60 metres, no problem with workable area lighting. Fantastic problem. What about the sports industry? Yeah, I mean, if you put the height up, um, you would need obviously to raise the light to shine it down on an area, then I think you can use it um, for some of those things, for sports training, some of those types of applications, it's not a problem. And again, you don't need planning permission, you don't have any noisy generators, so you won't you know, annoy any neighbours or anything that sort of backs on to maybe a playing field. You can take it out there, batch operated, and just run it as you go. And this unit is available in we've got the, this, this At the moment this is a is a, a 24 amp hour battery pack. So as I say I'll run it for four and a half hours continuously with both of them on their full power. So you've got um, an option of having it on a low power setting, uh, which is that setting there, it's low power. And then you can adjust the height as well to whatever you feel comfortable with. I say the light itself, it can be directional, so you don't need to have that height on there. If you're in the sports industry, you might want to get a bit of height just to shine down and flood an area. But great for training, great for contractors, great for anybody that just wants portable recharge. Anybody that wants something that's totally portable that's going to give a widespread area of light over a long distance, this light is absolutely perfect. Fantastic. So the unit itself is a two-headed self-contained unit. There are bigger ones available for larger applications. There's the Solaris Quattro, which is a four-headed unit in more of a big case style. It's on wheels, pull up one a bit like you. you cases for when you're going yeah, on holidays, yeah, yeah. something on those lines, but the concept is to have everything contained inside a box, so it's very easy, very portable, when you collapse everything away, you don't need to open it up to charge it, you just plug it in and charge it, you don't need to open the lid, just fill it in and just charge it up and off you go, so the design now with these new heads is to have something that's all polycarbonate, aluminium and ABS, so you've got a robust bit of kit. Most lights can be sort of thrown around and treated quite appallingly by customers, but with this product, you're going to have a much better light and longevity. I noticed that this one's flashing, it's got two red LEDs. Flashing. It's a mode, yeah, so you've got different modes on there, obviously, so you, just to explain the modes, you do, you have your high powered, you have your lower level setting, again, for extended battery operating time, and then you have your flashing. Your flashing is more from a utility point of view, if you want to signal somebody, but just for signaling purposes. The second function there, or the last function there, is basically a, a locator, so that if you leave it on site, you can find it, come back and find it, so it'll flash red for hours and hours, hundreds of hours in terms of flashing red, but it's very visible at night. So if you can't see the unit itself, you'll easily be able to see the red flashing function to come back and find it, locate it again. Yeah, so it just, just makes it easy, so it's trying to cover all the bases. But the, say, the main concept is to be able to start replacing fire angel halogens with this style of light. Because LED isn't, it's, it's not just a buzzword anymore, it's much more than that. So it's something that really can replace halogens. And halogens obviously are just such a dangerous product to use in terms of the construction industry because of the heat that they generate. You have to have them so high. That's why you get such a lot of light pollution, people complaining about the light they, the, do you know what I mean, they give yeah. off. So if you just want something for a localised area, LED is going to perform an awful lot better. So this is, this is definitely the way to go. And by having something with individual optics, they're nice, they're safe, they're glare free. It's a good, really powerful white light. So you'll be able to see that from some of the application shots. So we have 
an established industry that's already using these with this new shaped head I think it's going to be able to extend further because we're able to do different things with them in terms of driving them even brighter still so I'll be able to show you that next.